Is there a way to actually detect possible future ulcerations or issues? I know I've seen studies where you see a difference in temperature uh, from you know, different feet at different times. Yeah. That uh, just throws up a warning light. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right about that. There's, there's several studies that have shown that using a scanning thermometer, I guess they're, they're becoming more popular. There's advertisements on TV about how you can take your kid's thermometer or kid's temperature without actually doing anything from across the room. I would assume that they could probably be used on the foot as well. I, I don't know that, that, that they can. But certainly as soon as you start to notice warmth and erythema in localized areas of the foot, you need to be very careful. For, for those who are, who are getting good podiatric care, good foot care in general, um, often the, the healthcare provider will check to see if the person's lost sensation. Uh, as soon as you begin to lose sensation, those are areas that are going to be at high risk. They'll check to make, the per make sure the person's arterial blood flow to the lower extremity is okay. Again, as soon as you begin to lose um, good perfusion, you're at risk. And they'll check to make sure there's no bony abnormalities, that the foot biomechanics haven't changed. Um, and again, as soon as people begin to develop biomechanical changes, they're at risk. Um, to fully answer your question, though, is there something good that somebody can do at home that's going to 100% prevent? Um, that's less apparent. Um, it, it certainly is important to look at your feet and to do daily foot checks, but whether or not patients always know exactly what they should be looking for and when they, when they should take notice and take warning is a little bit confusing right now in the literature. There's a difference between taking off your sock every day and saying you looked at your foot and a foot check that a podiatrist or your endocrinologist would probably really expect that you can do. And I think sometimes on surveys, um, people are just sort of taking off their socks and they're saying their feet are fine when they're probably not.